The man convicted of killing a teenager more than a decade ago in Ocoee hopes for a better outcome in court today. Best Okafer was sentenced to death in 2015, but as West Tooth Bob Hazen tells us, Florida's new law requiring a unanimous decision in death penalty cases means Okafer will need to be resentenced. Bestman Okafor's lawyers are trying to show a jury that he had a rough childhood, including sexual abuse, and they hope that will convince the jury to give him a life in prison. Now, Okafor was found guilty earlier, but he's in court now to be re-sentenced. He was found guilty actually eight years ago for the murder of Alex Zaldivar, and the victim was a witness in a robbery case. He had been scheduled to testify against Okafor the day after the murder. Jurors in his trial sentenced Okafor to death, but that was overturned when the state Supreme Court ruled that juries had to give a unanimous verdict. The law, though, has now changed in Florida, but Okafor is still getting a second shot at staying off death row. Today, his lawyers put his sister on the stand who said that their mother often beat Okafor. Anytime that he'd get a whooping, she would always um, take him in the room, and because it's, it was so bad that he would be screaming, and you can hear it. Where and it'll just, it just, I just felt like it would go on longer than what me and my sister would get. The defense also brought up a member of the family's church who was accused of molesting Okafor. Prosecutors have already rested their case here. The resentencing is expected to last for a few more days with closing arguments coming on Wednesday. Reporting at the Orange County Courthouse, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.